You're watching KSL 5 News. New at 6, the Granite School District will ask voters to raise taxes to pay for badly needed improvements. Unlike other districts, the issue here isn't growth. The issue is safety in buildings that are way past their prime. Cypress High has five generations of tradition, but many say school safety isn't part of that. We've told our kids if there's an earthquake and you're in Cypress, don't shelter in place, just run, just go out. Because this, this portion of this building has no seismic stability whatsoever. Granite District has the oldest schools in the state. An independent team of engineers rated the 90 schools on dozens of variables and found one third wouldn't withstand the type of earthquake scientists predict for Utah. This building is just simply ill-equipped to handle the kind of shaking that we expect uh, for that big earthquake. And that's not the worst of it. Criminal events. We're also very concerned. There aren't enough security measures in place in older buildings. Cypress has two separate buildings with a total of 72 access points. How do you secure a facility in an active shooter situation or from a threat that's coming onto campus? That's what keeps us up late at night. So Granite District has proposed a 10-year, $283 million bond to rebuild and remodel schools for safety and aging infrastructure. The cost would be about $15 a month based on a $250,000 home. Public hearings and comment boards show some opposition, but most feedback indicates residents acknowledge the need. I think higher taxes is worth the safety. It's worth a better environment for our kids to learn in. The district argues even those with no school children have a safety interest in this bond. Now think about the school building you're counting on, relying on to be a place of refuge or emergency shelter. If it's not in there, if it's not in place, where are you going to go? So now the challenge is not only passing the bond, but not creating a community panic. With so many schools at serious risk, the worst first policy may come under scrutiny.